Can I just start Hello, by asking you how likely it is that there will be a, an early resolution to this impasse over the budget? Well, it's that it doesn't depend uh, on what I would like to be uh, to, to for like for what I would like it to be or anyone else in Poland or in Hungary, but most of all of uh, the common sense of all the partners, unfortunately. And so far, we have seen a very uh, hawkish approach from certain member states that do not want this compromise, that want to stand very firm on this current proposal, which is unacceptable for some other member states. So, unfortunately. Right now, we are in more or less a stalemate. But in general, I think uh, that EU is a very creative organization that we can reach compromises. So as long as we will um, get to a situation where it's all in conformity with European law, then we will be fine and accept it all. So what is your bottom line here? Do they ultimately need to shelve the rules that they were intending be imposed around rule of law. Is that ultimately what has to happen before Poland can green light this bill? Well, it would be fine if it really would be about the rule of law, but in fact, it's about politics. And it's government of Poland, government of Hungary, uh, we are a conservative government and we are constantly under attack from, from Brussels, from other European politicians. Just last month, uh, one of the key European politicians, deputy president of the European Parliament, said that Hungary must be financially starved to death and Poland likewise. So we know perfectly well that if we agree to the current proposal, on the next day the procedures will be initiated to actually block this money, but simply for Poland and Hungary. It would be unreasonable for us to agree to it. But when we reach a compromise that is in conformity with the treaties, and the treaties themselves are very clear about this, that you have a special procedure that requires either for fifth majority or unanimity to, de to determine risks of the breach of the rule of law, then we, I guess if we adhere to the treaties, then we really can speak about the rule of law. Minister, we are seeing the economic impact from fresh restrictions across many European countries at this point, and there's a feeling of urgency around this recovery fund in particular, not to mention the EU budget. Do you understand the need for urgency, and what do you think the time frame is for agreeing an outcome? We adopted as quick as possible, as swift as possible. We simply cannot agree to have uh, this blocked anymore. But uh, I, I repeat, we could accept it now, but this would only mean that it would be blocked on the very next day by initiating the procedure to block it simply for two countries. So this would be, uh, and I think this argument that it's Poland and, Hun and Hungary that block it from uh, most of, uh, from, from some Brussels politicians, it's pure hypocrisy because they know perfectly well that uh, they are um, planning to block it just thereafter if they get these uh, very, uh, strong means of action. It, in fact, this would amount to changing of the current framework of the EU because the Commission would be given power that it's not prescribed in the treaties. This would fundamentally change the shape of European Union or, as the Prime Minister of Slovenia already said, this would mean the end of the European Union.